Hello everyone, welcome to the United Way TV. My name is Rob Duken and this is our preview for Manchester United against, guess what, Spurs. And this is a game in which we'll be playing tomorrow at Old Trafford. I just want to get your views on this one, guys, because this is a game which I think most of you are waiting for. This is a game which, for those of you the Ten Hag out, just want Ten Hag to be sacked. But guess what, we, I think uh, Manchester United is going to, I mean, the players tomorrow are going to prove you guys wrong. I hope they're going to prove you guys wrong. But look, I mean, I keep saying this is an important game, but well, I mean, every Premier League game, every game United plays is important. You agree with me, even if uh, you are not a fan of this, uh, not this community, but in general uh, of football, you know. Look, uh, guys, I want to give you guys my lineup, tell you guys what I think we should improve, how we can beat sports tomorrow. Not one, two, but three goals. And I would like to get your input. Drop your comments below, guys, if you do have a video of yourself give me your lineup send it to dukanrav at uh, uh, gmail.com that is uh no, that is the, the, the my, my uh, social you know social email and uh, i will uh, post it here guys and also tell me your scores and lineup thanks for all of you joining in and interacting with the content but look let's start this eric ten hag is in trouble eric ten hag is we are scrutinizing the manager it's a guy who has to give the results manchester united we have now i think 10th of the league 10th in the league and we what we have to do guys is we need to uh, have one of those games which we can look as a benchmark for the season we haven't had one yet so i think uh, going into this game uh, there is a little bit of is it too much or a little bit? I think a little bit of pressure on Eric Tenag, considering that Barada, uh, Omar Barada has backed him uh, in Manchester United. But look, obviously there's a bad result. Eric Tenag might face the sack. If tomorrow, Spurs gives up, like, we, we take 3 nil from Spurs, it becomes a little bit pressure on Ignos. It becomes a little bit pressure for all the stakeholders to start feeling uh, that Eric Tenag is not the man for the club. Let's face it, guys. Football is a sport for many. But you know, it's business for others, right? Those who invest in it. And uh, so uh, it would be rational for that mood to be on that level. So I want to get your views here. I want to get your, your, your views. What I mean, views, I mean your opinion on this game. I know the sports are a good football inside. They are a side which obviously will come to United and give us a game. There was a season, I think last season, the beat was over Trafford, if I'm not mistaken. But um, I think uh, United, this present team, is a team which can, can also come out with, a, with some very good surprises for their fans, play good football and also score goals. I think going in, uh, I mean, saying that, let me just tell you guys straight to, uh, what I think the lineup should be, what lineup I will use. Hello, hello. What, what, uh, what, what the lineup should be in that game. Uh, that's a dog walker, actually. When I started this, she came in and she was trying to introduce herself. She wanted you guys to know this. But look, uh, I just want to say this. Uh, this is the lineup which I'm going to go for and I'm going to justify it a bit later. Tell me what you think below. I think Eric Tenak should go with a... Uh, 4-3-3. Three, three. What do I mean 4-3-3? Three, three? We play with two central back. Um, uh, we need a high line. Sports are fast and uh, fast playing team. Good in, uh, but they are very good, fast, very quick in, in, in their transition. So we need to have a very, very uh, players who are on their feet. So I'll go with Delit and, um, and obviously Martinez in the uh, central defense. On the left, I, I go with uh, Dalo. He's invest, invest, he will be inverting a lot of Dalo tomorrow, honestly. Mazwari on the right, holding midfielder. Look, I will, be with, I will start with, with Kobe Menu and also Ugate. We need energy. Sports is a good footballing team. We need energy, so I think Ugate will make that difference. Guys, it's a new area. I'm doing this video. Many people are passing by, having fun. So uh, don't uh, pay attention to that. So in going ahead, I think no matter the criticism I've had with Bruno Fernandes, he's the only proper 10 we have. Hopefully he will pull a, a masterclass tomorrow. Bruno Fernandes as my 10 playmaker. Bruno has to do the most important things easy. Just play easy. Just help to move that ball. The biggest problem we have United, which has been a solution from the beginning of the season, is that we have been trying to move that ball. If we can move that ball fast enough and we can kill goals, United are placed, I think, on the top in terms of cre um, creation, uh, I mean, in cre cre uh, instead of action created in the game. But guess what? We are almost last, if not last, in, um, in, in converting these actions into goals. And that is an issue for Manchester United, which we have to, uh, uh, we have to solve. So, oh, uh, yeah, you see another, uh, does a Manchester United fans, hopefully. But yeah, so, um, yeah, as I say, you know, this is a game in which we have to win. I know I say this a lot, it's becoming a cliche on this community, but we have to win because where there is no room, there is no room for error at this point. So what I'm saying is, um, uh, obviously, um, 
our front our front let's go on with our front with our front uh, three my front three will be i think you know what it is a difficult one if i go with uh rasmus as nine i think rasmus needs to start i think rasmus comes in at nine and uh, at the left, Marcus Rush for the pace. I just can't put this guy on the bench. On the right, I would have gone with Josh Razeski, but I think the only player, the most creative players we, we have is Ahmad. Ahmad has been killing it. Ahmad playing on the right in the midfield would make sense because he's the only player that can keep the ball. He does it better than Bruno. I just think if Ahmad continues this like this, Ahmad will start next season as a proper 10 because he, he knows how to slow the game. I, what I'm trying to say is, don't be surprised that in the coming, of year, coming years, if Ahmad continues like this, clubs like Real Madrid, clubs like Manchester City will want to go for him. He is so good on the ball that you cannot ignore that talent. You cannot ignore that talent. Don't come to me and say he is not scoring. Don't come to me and say he's not scoring goals. He's not killing it. This is a young player that we're giving too much responsibility on and he's making things happen. Guys, tell me what you think about that lineup, guys. Drop your lineup below. I want to know your lineup. Also, as I said, make a horizontal video, put it in front of us, and send it to Dukan Rab. D U C A N R A L F at gmail.com. And I'm going to post it here as a fan. We are a fan community, Manchester United fan community. What we do here, we talk about football and, uh, you know, about our beloved club. It's normal. Everybody has a passion and I guess you also do. So what do you think about our lineup? Tell me what is what you think it is flawless. It's, I mean, if it's a, is, is it a flawless lineup? Is it, do you find some errors in that lineup? What will you go for? That's the question. Tell me those of you, I mean, Hans van, Ho um, van Hoister. I've just spoken to some Dutch uh, guys here. And um, yeah, and, uh, and also... People like uh, Tunde, who is so angry with Eric Tenag that he can, he can do something. He can get his, get his out of his mind sometimes. Tunde, I can understand this, but you know, all this comes not in the negative point of view, but more in the more passionate uh, uh, point of things. So uh, tell me what you guys think below. I go for the, let me go straight for my scores. I think United is going to win, and a good day, United is going to win that game. 2-1-3-1. I've gone for 2-1-3 round. We cannot have a clean sheet. If we don't score any goal, we lose 1-0. And it can be 2 0, but that is my views. I just think United needs to score. We need to score, we need to manage the games, manage the game well. And for us to do so, we have to keep the ball properly. Sports is a team that is beatable. I don't usually talk about the opponent because it's all about you imposing your style of play to your opponent, and your opponent, opponent does you know, bow down to your style of play. This is how you win games. There's no way you win a club in a modern football, except it's a mistake, without you imposing your style of play. United goes into that game. We need to impose that style of play. We need to control the game. I mean, play like Crystal Palace, but scores more goals. As simple as that. Guys, please make sure if you're getting value in this, smash a like on the video. Get involved with the United Way TV. We are here live. We are live. We try to be live every morning. Very hard to do so due to the circumstances we have. Sometimes we try to negotiate for wi fives you know. We are not a big community and um, my circumstance hasn't changed. So as it hasn't changed, it's a difficult one, but uh, one day we shall get there. One day things can settle and we'll be talking to each other live as we used to do previously. Yeah, so guys, without said, have a lovely weekend. I asked for eight minutes and I'm going to nine minutes already for this review. I'm positive Manchester United is going to win tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, happy days. Uh, ha have a lovely time. And, yeah, pretty much talk to you soon. Bye-bye.